my interpretation is that we've lost connection between our personal values, value from a dollar, and value of a dollar. Uh, given we've had all this time and great com understanding of money, uh, are we any better off in trying to make better decisions than we were 20, 30, 2,000 years ago? And how do we get better? Can I talk about it in the context of the Alberta budget? <laughs> we haven't learned anything. Because if you want to talk about it in the context of Alberta finances, we haven't learned a thing over the last 40 years in terms of how we think about money, how we think about it in terms of um, saving versus allocating expenditures. We arguably have just squandered a huge, huge gift of resource value. Um, and next week we're going to find out how badly that squandering was. So you're right, we've lost the value of a dollar and from a dollar. And there's nothing like adversity to teach that lesson for another generation because we seem to have short memories. Um, about these kinds of cycles? I think we are getting better generally. <laughs> not, I'm cynical. Uh, I won't, I'm American. I'm not going to get myself involved in it because you know, America's economy is totally fine. Um, <laughs> Can we talk about the debt thing? <laughs> that's, that's, um, but I, I actually think that one, you know, this is gonna look self-serving maybe, but I think one thing that we can do is research and think more carefully about money because the science of money is really only about 250 years old and it's in its given form, right? If you think capitalism started really genuinely with Adam Smith in the 1750s, 60s, or whatever, um, Deborah doesn't. I think that's a very plausible view. But started with the Romans. We've, well, so <laughs> that's the very kind of question we need to look at, yeah. right? Because what kind of things are we describing that are you know, ironclad economic laws? What kind of things are happening are sort of you know, socially constructed social facts? What things can't we change and what things can we change? Um, and I think there's still lots and lots of research. There's lots we just simply don't know about that. And so, right, the, the study, the $75,000 study, that's only four or five years old. And that was real news, right? Prior to that, I think, I, I thought, oh, well, surely my life just gets better the more money I get. And it looks like we've discovered that, well, that's simply not true. So the more we can learn about this tool and the more we remember that it is a tool and what we want to use it for our values rather than it simply being our value, that's the thing that we sort of have to remember because it's so easy to think that we are that economic laws are just like natural laws and you couldn't change them any more than you could change the law of gravity. Maybe that's true in some cases, maybe it isn't. Knowing the difference is gonna be fantastically useful for us. And it, it requires a very, very hard examination of societal values. <laughs>